Hi, this is the second video from ARU about using RefWorks. So um, you've created an account, you're in your RefWorks account, you can see my name's up there. So this is the RefWorks interface. Just a few things to point out. Under citation view, you can change this so you could see the full view of the reference if you wanted to. Or we could go down and select Anglia Ruskin Harvard style. If you use a different style, so if Anglia Ruskin isn't there for you, or you use MLA, a SCOTA, or APA, just click on the little cog and that will allow you to select the style you want to see your references in. So your account might look different to this at the moment because you won't have any references in. And the main part of this video is going to be about getting references in. So you can add references manually with the add button, but we're going to show you how to just import them from library search and Google Scholar. The other thing you can do is create your bibliography and that's here. And the other really important thing in the interface is the folders. So if I go to my folders, you can see down there I've got various folders and that's how you organize your RefWorks account. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import from the library website. So I'm just going to change my view to the library website. So there I am. I've logged into the library account. You can see my name's up there. So make sure you do that. And I've just searched for green sustainability buildings and various results have come up. Now to get one of these into my RefWorks account, all I need to do is click on the RW. And what that does, that pings that over to my RefWorks account. And I say, yes, I want to import to the newest version. And you can assign it to a project. You can have different projects up here. I'll assign it to a folder, but I'm just going to import it for now. So that's imported that into my RefWorks account. So we'll just give it a second, but there you can see all the details from that journal article. So if I go over to all references, that will be in all my references. So all references here is absolutely everything you've ever added or imported into your RefWorks account. Just going to show you something else through the library search. So this is a way of getting lots and lots of items into your RefWorks account at once. So I've done a search for green sustainability buildings and I like the look of quite a few of these. So if I add these items up here, by clicking on the pin, what that does, that adds that to my ARU account. So you must be logged into this. And they're in my favorites now. So it's only gonna work if you're logged in, but if I go to my favorites now, those three items will be in my saved records. So what you can do with this, if you click on the items that you want to send to RefWorks, you can do so. And then all I need to do is go to these three little dots and I'm gonna push them over to RefWorks. And again, newest version of RefWorks. And I'm just gonna import them straight away rather than put them in folders. And just press okay. And there we can see my last import is those three that I took from my favorites list in the ARU search. And again, if I go to all references, they will all appear there. So what I'm gonna do now is just show you how to get items in from Google Scholar. So I'm just gonna try and find my Google Scholar tab. Here we go. So I've done a similar search in Google Scholar. So all I need to do for Google Scholar to get items into RefWorks is I need to go to this little citation button after I've run my search. And if I go to that little citation button, if you decide you don't like to use RefWorks, you've got references there as well that you can copy and just check against whatever guide you're using that they're correct. If you do want to use RefWorks, you get a little RefWorks button here. Click on that. And that will again export to RefWorks. So that's going to do the same thing again. 
say import. So I'm just going to try and get back to Google Scholar to show you another way. One thing with RefWorks as well, as you can see, I'm closing loads of tabs. It opens a new tab every time you do an import. So you can close those and just refresh your latest one and that will get you an up to date image of your RefWorks account. So the other thing that you can do in Google Scholar, you can go to these three lines. I can go to settings. And if we go down the bottom here to bibliography manager and show links to import citations into RefWorks and then press save, your computer will remember that. And now what we get is a little import into RefWorks. So I'm going to click on there. And again, that's going to import that into RefWorks. So finally, what I wanted to show you is the RefWorks guide. If you're using databases, so CINAHL, JSTOR, PubMed, whichever database you use, you can also import from them. So it's different for each database. So the best thing to do is to come back to the RefWorks guide, which is where you access RefWorks in the first place, go to 2, getting references into RefWorks, and go to 2.3, adding references from databases. There's also a reminder from Library Search and Google Scholar as well. Okay, so that's that for this video, thanks.